aggregated event measurement. If you are wondering what that is, why do I need to know about it? Why is Facebook making me set this up? And how do I do it? You came to the right spot. My name is Kevin Shroggy. I am the owner and founder of Brand Arrow, and we are a high performance marketing agency that help businesses grow. First of all, what is this new thing that they call aggregated event measurement? So whenever iOS 14 came out, they basically ruined everybody's tracking abilities to be able to track their users and they, what they did is they have you set up now this thing called aggregated event measurement where you prioritize eight events. I think they're gonna drop that down to six here soon, but you prioritize eight events and you those are the events that Facebook will now track through I think a statistical measuring uh, since they cannot track you guys anymore on your website. So good thing for consumers, bad thing for marketers. So let me dive in this a little bit more, just kind of explain this a little bit to understand what the impact is here. So basically, if you do not set this up, what will happen is, is you will lose, you might lose the ability to deliver ads to people with iOS 14 devices that opted out. So you may now select events, even if they were not initially prioritized for aggregated events measurement for iOS 14.5 or later in your web or app event configuration and meta events manager delivery however may still differ based on whether you choose a prioritized event or a non-prioritized event so essentially what this is saying is if you deliver ad or if you have a conversion campaign and your conversion event isn't prioritized in this aggregated event measurement, there's a chance that they won't deliver ads to people with iOS 14 devices. If you don't have this set up, and if you, so let's say you do have a conversion event and the event that you're, prior, that you're optimizing for isn't prioritized, there's a chance that you won't be getting this sent to iOS 14 devices, which is basically everybody, uh, I think it's over 90% are opting out. So half of your audience, potential audience, anyway, it's iOS versus Android, is not gonna be delivered your ads. So I wanna show you how you can get this set up. We're gonna start over here on your domains. So if you go into your business settings, so business.facebook.com backslash settings, you should land on a screen like this. If you have multiple accounts, you might they might make you choose which account you're going into. Once you get into this screen here, um, you'll see different sections here, users, accounts, data sources, and then brand safety. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna verify a domain. We're simply just gonna go add, create a new domain. All right, so you type your domain in there. I've already did this with uh, my other domain, kevintrogge.com. So it's already verified. So this is a fake, obviously fake uh, account. If you guys wanna go buy that domain, go at it. Um, but anyways, it's not verified. So you go down here and you're allowed to sec select different options. So there's the add a meta tag to your HTML source code. So if you have access to you know your website, you can add that to your source code. You can add an HTML file to your root directory. So you can add it that to your root directory, or you can update the DNS TXT record with your domain registrar. So you simply choose one of these um, and it'll tell you exactly what to do. So for this one, you're just copying this meta tag and you're gonna paste that into the head section of your website's homepage. That's option one. This one, you're gonna download the file. Once you download the HTML verification file, you're gonna upload that to the file root directory of your domain. Um, the last thing is, is updating your DNS TXT record. So you can go to your domain registrar and add this in there um, and set that up once you do this you just go ahead and hit verify domain and after you verify it you will get this green verified so sometimes it takes a second for it to um, get set up so right here's a note it may take up to 72 hours for Facebook to find the meta tag code so if it doesn't verify right away just give it some time but once it is verified you'll get this green verified notification Cool, so now that we've got that set up, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and make sure you have your pixel set up. So if you don't have a pixel, go ahead and hit add and add your pixel here. Uh, once you got your pixel, you're gonna to have to add it to your website and then Facebook will need to make sure that it, it's active. I'm not gonna go through that entire setup, but once your pixel is active, uh, you're gonna see this view here and then in the middle of the page you'll see the pixel conversions API section and then right next to it it'll say 
aggregated event measurement. So you're gonna click on that tab and you'll see this blue button, configure web events. So go ahead and click that. Now the domain that you verified should show up here. Um, so you're gonna go ahead and choose the domain that you want to optimize the events on. So some people have more than one domain, so you're gonna to wanna to make sure you choose the right one. And then we're gonna manage events. Um, frequent changes may neg negatively impact ads delivery. So if you do do this, try to do it once and not change it a bunch of times. So you're gonna to have to like figure out which events you wanna prioritize here. Um, and now you'll see this little section here and you're gonna hit add event. So just to simplify this, an event is any action somebody takes that you want to basically track and say, hey, this is an important event. I wanna track this when somebody does a certain thing. So the one of the most common things is, is after a purchase, you wanna count track that event or after they become a lead, you wanna track that event. And there's different ways to track people and their activity, but um, this here is basically gonna help you choose which events are important to you and then prioritize them. Bef before this, um, you can only do up to eight events right now. I think they're gonna try to drop that to six. Prior to this, people would create events for all kinds of random things. For every landing page would have its own event for like a lead event or a download event or a purchase event but there'd be separate events for all these different um, uh, actions that happen. So what we're gonna have to do now is just look at this from a generic standpoint of like leads, purchase, add to cart, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm gonna go through some of that here. So we're gonna go ahead and choose um, the pixel here. We have test pixel, that's the one that we ran. And we're gonna choose a default event that they already have in here. Um, you can set up custom events if you need it customized, but if you're just starting out, you shouldn't need to have to do anything too custom here. Let's start out. Um, these are kind of set up. Uh, yeah, so you, you're not really gonna need probably anything outside of this unless you're doing some advanced stuff. So we're gonna start with, let's just say subscribe. So subscribe is maybe you got a newsletter or something. So that'll be our first event. We'll add another one. Test pixel and we will do um, Let's do lead, okay? All right, now let's choose, um, let's do add to cart. Let's do initiate checkout. Um, obviously purchase, it's a no brainer. Um, for purchase, you have the option to do value sets. So if you have a, a lots of different pricing, um, you probably want to turn that on. If you only have like one set product for a certain price, it's not that important. Um, so let's see, what else? Let's add, add payment info. I don't think we added that one yet. Let's do another one. I like to do view content and I'll explain what we do there too. So now that you have, you chose all these events, you have eight here. What you do now is you prioritize. So the highest priority typically is gonna be purchase. That's where most people are gonna be choosing purchase as the highest priority, um, unless you have some complex sales process or something. So what you do is you prioritize this by um, the different events that happened prior to the purchase. So after, right, prior, right before the purchase, they're probably gonna be adding payment info. Probably before that is initiating their checkout. So I'm going in backwards order here. Before that, they're probably adding to cart. For that, let's say they're, I would say they're submitting app, they're probably submitting an application maybe. Before they submit the application, they become a lead. Maybe you have like a free download or something. And then after that, you have them apply. Before they become a lead, they subscribe to say your newsletter or something like that. And then I always, I don't always, but I like to put this one here, view content. And the, what I use this for is for very important pieces of content, like say on your website. So if, you, if you're doing like a retargeting campaign, sometimes you don't want to retarget 
all visitors of your website. You just want to retarget people that view your pricing page or you want them to, after they watch a certain video or something. But this is one I like to use. So you put the view content one on there and you can then retarget people there. So now that we have this, we can go ahead and hit apply. You have to confirm the changes and boom, you now have those prioritized events. So whenever you run a conversion campaign and you have to select a, an event to, to optimize the campaign, if you don't choose one of these here, there's a chance that, that those ads won't deliver to iOS 14 devices. So that people have opted, opted out on. So this is very important. Um, um, that's basically it. Now that you're set up, you basically run ads just like you always do. And um, whenever you're running a conversion event, you select one of these events. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this content, uh, found it valuable, be sure to subscribe. We release these videos for quite often. Um, I appreciate you guys. Thank you.